Oh, so let, let me start um, by describing some of the informatics challenges we've seen from our customers supporting biologics discovery, and then we'll go through each one of these in turn uh, and show you how the Dotmatic software can address those, firstly based on some slides and then uh, based on a live demo of the software. So the first challenge that we've seen um, is that the discovery workflow itself is extremely complex. Um, it's very iterative and there are a number of uh, processes involved. And as we or as you as scientists walk through that workflow, there are a number of very complex sets of data that you need to be able to deal with and manage, including the experiments, the biological or chemically modified biological entities that you're producing. You need to be able to capture the production processes, deal with the physical samples, deal with the assays, and so on. The second challenge then is with the actual entities that are being uh, produced as therapeutics and also used within those processes because there's a very wide breadth of scientific data types. So pure sequence-based entities such as antibodies and proteins, um, chemically uh, mixed biologics such as conjugates, chemically modified peptides and nucleotides, and then um, structureless entities such as cell lines and animals. So all in all, um, a very broad set of scientific data types that the software needs to be able to handle and process. So we have complex workflow, we have complex data. Unfortunately, what we don't get to do then is deliver complex informatics systems. Otherwise, uh, they, we all know from past experience those don't really get adopted very well. So given all of that, we still need to be able to produce very streamlined software that can serve up and match those workflows. And we also need to be able to do that whether you are using a pure Dotmatics environment or whether you're mixing Dotmatics software with software from other vendors, software that you already have in-house. So we need to make sure that the, the workflows are simplified within the software, and we also need to ensure that all scientists get access to all of the data that they need um, in a very simple way and have access to the data analytics that you will need to be able to then make your decisions. Further complicating matters and add, adding another challenge is that this type of research is very often conducted in a dispersed research environment. So even if you're operating within a single company on a single site, this is still a multi-team discovery process, so information needs to be able to flow between teams. But very often, this research is being conducted in uh, companies operating across multiple sites, and increasingly, a single research project is being operated across multiple companies. We um, see many collaborations between pharma, biotechs, academics, and CROs. And as we propose a software solution, we obviously need to be able to operate an environment um, that supports that uh, dispersed research environment. And then the final challenge, um, which is one we see very often, is simply introducing change and the current status quo within biologics discovery teams. So we see a lot of companies still, uh, and scientists still using Excel to store their data, exchanging information in documents, uh, putting information up on file shares. We see a number of companies who are still using paper notebooks. And I think the, the second survey question there showed um, something like 50% of companies are not yet, or 50% of the participants today are not yet using a notebook. We see the exchange of information, information in email. And then think about the analytics. We also see a lot of um, shareware. So um, there's a real challenge, obviously, in uh, moving up from those environments to an integrated environment. So if we, all, if we walk through each one of these challenges in turn, I'll try and illustrate uh, how the Dotmatics environment can help solve these problems. So starting with the complexity of the workflow. And I'll just take one simple example here, which is a, an antibody production workflow. And even this, of course, is very simplified, going from the initial animal registration and immunization through cloning, uh, the rounds of screening and then sequencing and screening um, to identify the interesting hits, and then through the recloning and final 
protein production processes. So a complex workflow, and of course the reality here is there are many iterative cycles behind each of these steps and multiple teams, and as I said before, possibly even multiple companies involved in running through this workflow. And we could repeat, repeat this kind of workflow for the other kinds of entities that people are producing today. So the first requirement then for an informatics solution is we have to have a solution that maps to the workflow rather than the workflow having to adapt to the informatics. And so if we begin to map dot the dotmatics solution on top of this, um, you see a number of logo icons appearing. These relate to our individual products. So STN is studies notebook. This is the electronic lab notebook, um, which is used to, to capture the experiments. Biological registration, as its name implies, is the registration system where that wide variety of entities is captured. Uh, there is a uh, need, obviously, for an assay data management system. That's called studies. You see that there for the primary and secondary screening. And then on the data analysis side, you see BR, which is browser, the place in which you can find and retrieve information from the entire process. And then Vortex is the data analytics environment. And we're going to go through these in more detail, and then you'll see them live in the demo. Um, and then the final icon here is CA, which is Cascade. And this is a work requesting system. So again, this makes the point that this workflow is conducted across multiple teams, and so you need uh, the informatics system to be able to capture the requests from one team to perform a service. So that could be a screening service or a sequencing service, for example. Um, and then also, very importantly, in the middle there, at any stage and at all stages, all of this data needs to be able to brought, be brought together in a way that any scientist who needs to access this data can very quickly access it to be able to execute their part of the workflow or make a decision based on it. 